up on this episode of Organization Motivation. It's kitchen chaos to come. We work with our clients, Jackie and Bill, and their son, Nick, to organize and declutter their chaotic kitchen. Streamlining their kitchen has made it easy for them to make healthy meals for the family. Next, we stop in at J.K. Lumber in New Hartford and meet with our good friend, Sam Rudolph, to talk all about Eden Pure Heaters. Winter's coming up right around the corner. You need to be ready. And finally, check out our outtakes from this week's episode. All this and more coming up on this episode of Organization Motivation, brought to you by J.K. Lumber. As a declutter coach, my team and I help families and businesses cut the clutter, get organized, and lead a more productive and stress-free life. Come along on our journey as we help our clients and find the motivation you need to make positive changes in your life. This is Organization Motivation. We are here today at the home of our client Jackie and her two boys Nick and Alex and her wonderful fiance Bill. We're here to help them get their kitchen organized because they've got two families coming together. They're very busy. They've kind of let it kind of flip a little bit and we want to help them get it back in shape because summer's here. We want them to be able to enjoy family and friends in a neat and organized and orderly kitchen. Hi Jackie, how are you? Good to see you. Hi Bill, Hi, thanks for having us. Well, Jackie, when we met with you during the initial consultation, you had told me a little bit about some of your goals and your vision for the room, but let's just go over that again today. I'd like to have these counters cleared, mm -hmm. the pantry organized so that I would be able to find the things that I need and not overbuy like I tend to do mm -hmm. and get this place so it's not embarrassing when people come in. Let's talk about our action plan for the day. What I'd like to do first is I'd like to clear off the center island because I'd like to use that for a sorting area for the other um, areas of the room that we're going to be working on. So that'll be step one. Step two is, as you know, we do like to work left from right. So we're going to start on this counter and go all the way until we get to the stove. Once we've finished all the flat surfaces for you, I also would like to tackle the floor because we do have some you know, things on the floor that we want to definitely get up. And then the last step four is going to be your pantry. How do you feel about that? That sounds good. Excellent. Well, let's get started. I invited the declutter coach here today and her team so that she will help us clean up this area and teach us how to maintain it in a way that every day we will have a nice, neat, clean kitchen to work in. It makes it hard when you're working all the time and trying to take care of all the activities that we're into and maintain this house. We you need your help, Deb. Thanks. Well, we are ready to go. We're all hands on deck. The entire family is here. You met Jackie and Bill, and now you'll meet Nick, their son, who just graduated from high school, actually salutatorian. And we're going to have everybody working. So the first area team is going to be to declutter this area and get things off so that we can use it as a sorting area. So we need a garbage bag, if somebody can get a garbage bag, and we're going to start handing things to you to find right. proper locations and spaces for them. So I know all of these, Nick, you, you, you took them all out and you were thirsty and wanted something because it's really hot. We're going to have you put these all back in the freezer, okay? Is that something you can do? Here's garbage. Okay, so these can go in the freezer. We're going to give those to Nick to take care of. And I'm finding whey powder and I'm guessing that belongs to Nick as well. Would that yes. be right? And one of them feels like it's empty. One's about half full. So we'll, okay, so this one's we'll get good. a good spot for those to go. And this one feels says, empty. Toss it in the recycling bench. Okay. okay, now we've got a cute little fork. I'll put that in the dishwasher. It's got to be washed. Okay. And we have Saturday and Tuesday's paper. What do we want to do with those? Paper pile? I'll put them in the recycling. All right. Awesome. What are you going to do with these? I'll give them to the chickens at Billy's Farm. Oh my goodness. Now, I, I actually have worked Shops with are... Billy and with Jackie before, and we did a really funny thing in the chicken coop. Do you remember? They actually named a chicken. They let me name a chicken. What do you think I named it? It wasn't Deb. It was Declutter. That's right. We thought she was a beautiful young baby hen, but yes. it was actually a rooster. <laughs> You know what, here's a really great tip. After you're done with your bread and you have these little things, hang on to them because we actually use these in homes to help people organize the cords to their computer. You know, all those wires that are underneath your desk? These are great. You can do them by color or you can even light on them. So it's up to you. You can hang on to this okay. or you can throw it out. Um, here's my thing with candy canes. 
every house we go into has candy canes. Now it is June, almost July. So I would say that these are probably not going to taste very good. So are you okay with letting us? Nick? You really want them? No. Okay. We're going to let these go? Okay. Awesome. Coming up next, we stop up at JK and visit with Sam to talk all about Eden Pure Heaters. Don't go.